Good morning and happy Thursday everyone. It's Eric here with a quick morning video blog for you. We've got a busy weather day ahead, a pretty exciting weather day if you're ready for some spring fever weather. Temperatures will flirt with 70, maybe even 71 or 72 before the afternoon is through today. First of all, a look at this massive storm system across the middle of the country. This is the same storm that brought severe weather to parts of the uh, southern Rockies, southern plains, blizzard conditions to parts of Colorado, Wyoming, the Dakotas, still bringing blizzard conditions this morning to parts of Nebraska and the Dakotas. Now on the warm side of this, where we are, we have showers pushing northward and a tornado watch already out down across parts of the lower Ohio Valley and the mid Mississippi Valley this morning. I do want to bring up the uh, severe weather risk for today before we get into some of the some of the details. Here's a look at where the uh, Storm Prediction Center does have the risk areas today. Now, uh, where you see this kind of orange color here that uh, covers Indianapolis, uh, west side of Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, that's where the risk is highest today for some heavy gusty thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon. And actually, there's a pretty decent uh, risk of isolated tornadoes in that region as well. This is the uh, tornado risk outlook and uh, in the yellow area there's a 10 percent risk of tornadic activity within 25 miles of any one location in that yellow area not concerned about tornadoes around here but there could be some residual heavy storms moving our way as we go towards the late evening hours it's going to take until then though until then not real concerned about uh, much in the way of wet weather at all with a couple of exceptions first thing this morning uh, at about nine o'clock we have a couple of showers there's been some a little bit of thunder with this earlier it's tending to weaken though. This might dampen parts of the area briefly right around lunchtime. I'm expecting this to continue to weaken uh, as it comes east, but still you might have to flip on the wipers a couple of times right around lunchtime here locally today. Otherwise we're not looking at, uh, at much in the way of, of wet weather I think during the daylight hours today. Here's a look at our high-res model showing a dry afternoon. The sun is going to come out and boy I'll tell you the wind is going to be a story this afternoon as well. When the sun comes out the atmosphere is going to get mixed up and the, the wind that's really strong up a few thousand feet is going to get pulled down to the surface uh, with that uh, mixing of the atmosphere. And we could see some wind gusts topping out over 40 miles per hour in some places this afternoon. But otherwise, wow, what an afternoon this is going to be. Check out the uh, temperatures shooting up into the lower 70s this afternoon, our warmest day since October the 11th. Now, as far as the uh, showers and thunderstorm threat, uh, storms will get going this afternoon out across the Toledo area, Defiance, uh, Lima, heading down towards Cincinnati, and then come east. Now, you know, this looks uh, pretty organized on, our, on the latest run of our modeling here. I'm not sure if it's this organized. But if this does uh, manage to hold together, this kind of broken line, it would start to impact our area uh, between 10 p.m., maybe 9.30, 10 p.m., and midnight tonight, the main threat being a... Uh, a strong wind gust and some briefly heavy rain. But the severe weather risk here locally, again, is not as strong as for our neighbors off to the uh, west. This will be a pretty good severe weather day, I think, for western Ohio, eastern Indiana, into parts of Kentucky and Tennessee as well. And again, there's already a tornado watch out for parts of the mid-Mississippi Valley. So it's going to be an eventful day today, temperature-wise, wind-wise. Maybe some storms to contend with late this evening, and then it's back to kind of the March blahs for Friday and the weekend as chilly air moves in, and maybe even some snow flurries around Friday night and into the day on Saturday. We've got you covered on the Storm Tracker 21 app on social media and on air as well. I'll uh, see you later on today on 21 News at 6 and 11.